So before we actually really start this, uh, the first major change is how much you can do on a single turn. The original game, just, you know, and I'm not talking about any special versions of it, just, just the plain normal game. Um, each turn, you can either do one of the following. You can either move or you can attack. Um, I mean, that's really it. And you can move one one space. I mean, and you're probably saying, well, gee, Tommy, wouldn't it be easier just to pull out the board? I, again, I'm kind of assuming that whoever's watching this knows how to play the base game. So I'm only really explaining and showing rules to just like illustrate my points. And so in the original game, yeah, you can either move, you can move left, right, up, down. You can't move diagonally uh, or you can um, attack. And then once you do one one thing, and again, you can only move one square at a time unless you are a scout, which is the weakest of all the ranks. You only move one square at a time. That, that's it. And so the problem that I have with this is um, you move one like guy o like over here and you're just slowly trying to get out at everyone like your other arm is just like sitting here again it's the Dragon Ball V effect everyone is having a fight o over here and let's say either this side is not doing anything they're just standing there and going, oh, they're so powerful I, I, I mean you know like that's 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 kind of what happens in that show or everyone's fighting over here and you're in your one strong guy is all the way over here you know let's say there is a is like a nine or in the older version like this one um, a two that is just just destroying everyone and you're nine and ten or you're one and two on your side are way over here well it's like either you have to wait for that nine to run into a bomb or you have to get these guys all the way over here so that you can try to kill them and i just i just feel that hey there could be some more strategy to this like that like more can happen so in my version of this game each side gets a six sided dice yes this version includes dice and so i have two of these dice here for this i'm just going to use one but at the beginning of every single turn that you have you roll that dice i rolled a four meaning i have four actions on one turn so what do you do with these actions well i could move one piece four times i could move two pieces two different times i can move one piece three times and the some other piece once um there are several uh, special skills that require actions so i could do i can move one piece twice and use a special skill for one rank and use a special skill for the other rank um there are certain terrains for instance, and I, I will get to this more as we get there, but just kind of a sneak, a sneak peek. Trying to climb up or attack on mountain requires two actions. So let's say that, you know, I had originally rolled just a one and someone was on the top of the mountain. Well, I can't reach him because I don't have enough actions. Now, you might say to yourself, well, you know, gee, that sounds great, but let's say that I keep rolling ones and twos and my opponent keeps rolling sixes well that is definitely a chance and i will get to that more so in just the next bit that it definitely is a chance here but my argument against that is okay you have to be thinking about what if i do get low constant rolls here what am i going to do what's the strategy here because because you might, you know, for three for three turns in a row, you know, get ones and threes, but then your next, you know, X amount of turns, you might start getting fives and sixes, and the same thing might happen to your uh, guy you're facing. And so, 
how are you trying to do the best that you can with what you're given? I mean, like you have to think about that here. Yes, like I rolled a six. Well, I mean, I can use, you know, six different actions here. But what if I start getting ones and twos? Like, have I spread myself way too thin? Or, you know, am I still trying to defense certain areas? And one and one of the other things that I should I should mention is you have to use all of your actions. So you can either do that, you can you can go ahead and you can roll the dice every single turn. You can also do where you get three actions every turn. You have to choose either rolling the dice or the three actions. With the three actions, you're never gonna get one or two. You're always gonna get a minimum and a maximum of three because with the three action rule, you can't get a four, five, or a six. So what are you gonna do? Do you want to roll the dice and you know get a six or you know get get something good? Or do you not want to risk the ones and twos and you want to get uh, a constant three? You know, so there is a middle of the road. You can't choose both. I mean, you have to say, hey, listen, I'm going to do this, and you have to stick with it. So, again, every single term, you you roll, you have that many actions. So kind of think of it, you have that many turns, that many movements on a single turn. Actions are huge in this. Um, you... You really have to play extra smart because, again, if you spread yourself way too thin, well, you might not get very good actions or action counts um, the next turn or the next turn um, after that. So you got to play smart. So that's how the actions work.